think February sometime. Nonetheless, and that's going to be against Reese here as we get ready to tip this one off. Trying to update our Twitter again at Let's Talk Sports 3. Follow along on there. We'll keep you up to date on the, all the action that is going on around the area. As we get ready to tip this one off at the center court here is going to be Caitlin Arbello and uh, number 30, Evie Schutte, as Carroll going to come up with the win on this one. It is going to be the Tigers pulling this one back. Ellie Hornbacher with the ball. Gets that over to Root. Right here in front of us, Carroll going to be moving from right to left on your FM dial to start things up. Wearing the predominantly white jersey. Got the purple in there in... It uh, looks like, is that any black, or is it just a really dark purple? Looks like a dark purple. Going to be passing this one around, trying to find something inside. Try to force it inside. Going to be taking away Abby Schutte, getting a hand on it. She does eventually come up with the ball as they're quickly moving this one up court for the Lakers as they're trying to get a nice, fast start here. Going to be no good on the shot there from the Lakers. Going to be rebounded by Hessling as she gets that quickly over into the hands of Hornbacher, who's been playing very, very well as of late, as we mentioned in our pregame show, as she is averaging uh, 10.3 points per game. That ball gets thrown away right in front of the Laker bench, and that will be Laker ball moving from right left to right on your FM dial. Yeah, as you said, Allie Hornbacher has been playing very, very hot as of late, had the hot hand, and... Uh, you know, when she needs to turn it up, she can. And just like that, Abby Schutte goes in and turns it up for the Lakers. It gives her a two-point advantage. 2 nothing ball game. 7.02 left to go here in this first quarter. Double header action. Thank you for joining us this evening. If you're trying to get the word across that we are on the air, you can follow along. Uh, 92.1, you're from dial. Classic Rock, i92.com, or download the WIDL app. Passing this one, cycling it around the perimeter. Going to be a foul here. That is going to be Reagan Ball picking up that foul. I didn't see who they called that. Number 30, Abby Schutte, going to come up with her first of the evening as they're going to inbound this one right towards the corner here in front of us. It is going to be Root inbounding this one. As she's looking in, she quickly gets it over to Rag and Ball, back into her hands. As a three-quarter court pass there onto the other side. 6.44 left to go. Ellie Hornbacher now with the ball right on top of the Caro C. Pulls back with it, gets it over to Ball. Shutting down anything at all inside here for this Caro squad as well, they do have two, some bigs. 2-3 two, zone. 2-3 two, zone is uh, what they went into and, uh, you know, trying to find a, a way either to pull them out of that zone and come to a man-to-man -man or Caro's just going to stall it and they're eventually going to get their shot. Trying to get that shot. It is going to be Hornbach running up with it. Just right of the lane. She puts up the shot. Oh, She's wow. going to get the bucket and the fall. Nice shot. Ellie Hornbacher coming up with a huge bucket there and also going to be heading to the free, uh, free throw line now for a couple of free or for one freebie to try to make this an old fashioned three point play. Well, she's been hot as of late. And guess what? She's going to start out hot as she uh, she gets the uh, the and one and she step into the charity stripe. A couple <laughs> bounces and uh, up the shot goes, but off the back of the iron. Going to be into the hands of Shooty as she's going to bring this one down. All tied up 2-2 now. 6.08 left to go. That call was against Lakers' Carly Cunningham. As they have now two team falls early on here in this game. Six minutes left to go. Cycling this one once again around the perimeter, trying to get it down low. It's going to be Shooty. Nice move down low by Shooty. She comes up empty as they tip that back. Arbello coming up with it for the Tigers. She stops, flips that back on over to Hornbacher. Hornbacher now with it for the Tigers. Gets it over to Root. Back on over to Hornbacher. She comes up to the three-point line, pulls back on it, gets it over to Ball. Cycling this one around the perimeter once again, trying to get the top of the key. Goes off the hands of Hessling into the hands of Cunningham. It's going to be Laker Ball coming back the other way. Nice strip there by the Tigers, though. Ends up into the hands of Hessling once again. As she stops, just hands that off to the point guard, Ellie Hornbacher. Gets it back on over to Root. Root back on over to Cunningham. Or Cunningham, wrong person, Hornbacher. <laughs> As it is now Arbello with it right here in the near corner. Nice skip pass. Almost goes off the fingertips of Root, but she is able to corral that. Gets it back in over to Hornbacher. A lot of, uh, I guess, pitch and catch going on here for the Tigers trying to uh, break this press here. A lot of, a lot of movement. Hello. Just like that? I don't know. What, what was it? that? I don't know. It's uh, some kind of warning uh, on my uh, computer. I need to... I can't oh. find uh, one of the files. Okay. I thought, I, Thank I, you. I, th I thought maybe you were like, we were running dead here on battery or something. No, no, I just plugged it in. We're oh, good okay. on everything. We're plugged in everywhere. So we're, we're good to go there. I'm not that, sure. But. That, that foul was on Kyle Bowles of the Lakers. So it is going to be Carroll Ball still here. Nice drive here by Root. Flips back over to Ball. Hornbacher, I think, unexpectedly got the ball in the corner. She puts up shot uh, from the baseline. No good. Nice rebound there by Arbello. Arbello puts it up and in. 
for two ball game. Caro on top now. 4.33 left to go. Fast and Furious the other way. Lakers come right back at it. Miss Abby Schutte ties it right back up. She has all four of the points so far here for this Lakers squad. As it is now tied up 4-4. Back down the other way. Reagan Ball with it. She gets over to Hessling. Hessling, our player of the week a couple weeks ago. I don't know where that came from. As it is going to be out of bounds off Caro. So we'll be back the other way to Lakers. <clears throat> yeah, just like that, getting up and down the court and... Uh, Carroll having a hard time trying to break a little bit of this zone and don't know where that pass went from Elston, but uh, right into the hands of Hornbacher, she's going to go ahead and put it on up. But Elston is able to get that rebound, so a little bit of retribution for her as she comes up with it. Rocking the horse Grant look tonight as she has those goggles, and we're going to get a call here. It looked like it could have been a travel against the Lakers. Bulls looked like she traveled that ball, but uh, was able to get rid of it just in time. She tries to put that up. She's going to get fouled on the way up. So that'll be the first of the evening against Ellie Hornbacher and the first for this Carroll squad this evening. 3.58 left to go in the first quarter. Bulls at the line shooting two. First shot up and find something at the bottom of that. Thelma Area Psychological Services, only local agency offering counseling and applied behavioral analysis. Call them at 872 1800 or stop into their Carroll Cass City location. And also CMR Tractors, area's best coyote tractor dealership, 7530 State Road in Millington. Visit CMRTractors.com. Looking at the. I'm at Erie and checking on in for Shooty. Second part of the. Two shots in the free throw line. Going to be no good on that one. She goes one of one. And it is going to be back into the hands of Carroll. Is going to drive this one? Lillian Hessling takes a little bit of a dump there. As that is going to go into the hands of the Lakers. So it is 5-4. Lakers coming back with it now. Not bad game uh, so far here for the Lakers. As towards the bottom of the Greater Thumb West. But uh, fighting and clawing. Trying to stay in it. As a little mid-range jumper here by... Elston going to be no good. Rebounded by the Tigers. Hornbacher now bringing it back down towards our direction. 3.23 left to go. Luckily goes into the hand of Root. Root skip pass over to Hessling. Going to be no good, but she's going to be followed on the way up. So she will now head to the line for a couple freebies. Try to at least tie this thing back up. If not, take the lead. 6-5. Yeah, Carroll doing a lot of movement on the defensive end. Playing a 1-3-1 one, one zone. And a lot of movement having to be going on as the Lakers are trying to wheel that ball around the top of the perimeter and outside and trying to pound it on in. Lillian Hessling at the line shooting two first shots is up and off the side of the iron. So no good on that first shot. Countryside Transport, they service what they sell. Call them at 883-2148. Visit online, countrysidemi.com or in person, 3812 Bayport Road in Seaboy. And also Agri Valley Services Tech Team. Visit avci.net. Agri Valley Services. Ashley Murphy checking on in. Olivia Bringard checking on in as well for the Carroll Tigers. Second shot, no good. Cannot... Uh, cash in and either one of those free throws as it is going to be end up in the hands of the Lakers. Elston with it now. She's going to drive this. Stops. Tries to flip that inside. It's going to go out of bounds. So it will be Carroll Tiger ball as we're going to get another check in here by the Lakers. I don't have her on our roster. Beautiful. That's exactly what we like to see. <laughs> Do they announce it? They're looking at the Lakers to see if... Maybe they don't announce it. Who is it? Typically they do, but uh, there's going to be no announcement. Reagan's so number 12. Ball with, you can just put a number in there. We'll find out apparently, uh, hopefully somehow, uh, some way, as it is going to be uh, no good on the shot there by Caro, as it is going to be rebounded by Madison Crone. Crone bringing down as she skips past that over to number 15, Emma Erion. I say that right? Yes. Thank you. Three-point shot here by the Lakers. No good out the front of the iron. That was Car uh, Carly Cunningham with a shot. No good. Rebounded by Murphy as she brings this one down for the Tigers. Gets it back over to Hornbacher. Still 5-4 ball game. 2.22 left to go in this first quarter play. Doubleheader game of the week. Games of the week coming at you live from Stay Mage Gymnasium. Again, a very interesting week of weather, which uh, canceled their snow coming here, which was supposed to happen. Get that going eventually. I think in February, they're playing Reese here. As we get a shot here by Ball, just a wild shot. She throws up, going to be no good, rebounded by the Lakers. If you notice the Lakers jerseys, they got the Lakers logo there uh, across the chest. So they do. Kind of incorporating the Los Angeles Lakers logo into that. So very cool to see that. Oh, that's a lot of steps. And they're going to call that a call against Carroll. Yep. That's going to be Hornbacher's second foul. 
Hessling checking on out <clears throat> as well. Warnbacher checking out. Checking on in was Kendall Root. Inbound pass here for the Lakers. It's going to be Cunningham with it now. As she thought about driving, but she pulls back. He goes out beyond the perimeter. Passing this one around. Unknown number 12 with the ball. As she gets that nice spin move down low there for Emma Irion. As we got a player down here for Carroll. I don't know who it is. Is that Root? Bringard. No, that would no, be it Root. Is Root. She, a little bit of uh, tenderness on that left ankle area. Now she has to sit out, I believe. Yep. And we're going to get Hessling right back in here. So, I guess it could have been a lot worse, but she gets up okay. and walks off under her own power, which is always a good thing. Could have been a lot worse. <laughs> yeah. Hey, what's up? As 7 4 year ball game, 118 left to go. That is it going to be Bringard with it. Murphy now with it. Back over to Bringard, passing this one around. Over to Murphy. Over to Bringard. Back over to Ball. Puts up the shot. Front of the, or excuse me, not even hitting the iron. Going to be rebounded by the Lakers. Bringing this one up now. Number 24, Madison Crone, as they get this one over. Passing this one around. Just under a minute left to go. 7 4 is your score. Going to be tipped off a couple fingertips here. Going to be brought down by Ball. Reagan Ball now going three quarters of the length of the court. Gets over to Bringard. Bringard trying to drive oh. this one and skip pass it over to Hessling. Just goes out of bounds, and that is yeah, little, exactly 40 seconds little, left on the clock. A little bit too much there uh, off, off of Carroll. 40 seconds left to go. 7 4 is your score. Going to be bringing this one down is going to be Carly Cunningham for the Lakers. Cunningham now with it as she gets over to Crone. Crone being guarded here by Arbello. So she flips it on over to Cunningham. <clears throat> Crone going to drive this one, pulls back. Excuse me, Chris. Sorry about that. Cunningham with it, gets over to Crone. Crone over in the corner to the hands of Abby Smith. Trying to get it inside, going to be taken away by Carroll. Lillian Hessling coming up with it. Bringard bringing it back down. Got under 10 seconds left to go. And it's going to be turned over by Carroll. Four seconds left to go. Unknown number 12 tries to just throw it up. It's going to be taken by Carroll. Going to be at the end of the first quarter right there. 7-4 as we head to our first break here. We're going to take a 30-second timeout. We're going to come back. we got more Game of the Week action for you. It is I-92. and printing needs. They offer vinyl graphics with an array of options. Small and large printing for everything from pamphlets and calendars to banners and entire wall graphics and everything in between. Have a business? Spruce it up with new signage or literally wear your brand on your sleeve with apparel options galore. Larson Graphics located at 1065 East Huron Avenue in Vassar. Call 823-3000 or visit LarsonGraphics.com That's LarsonGraphics.com Welcome back to the Classic Rock I-92 High School Game of the Week. Let's get back to the action with Scott Bowlesby and Chris Wilcox. We are back with your action here in Classic Rock I-92. It is your Game of the Week. Part number one, double header action. 7-4 is your score. Lakers on top. As we are starting up the second quarter here, want to thank uh, your sponsors, a couple of them out there. For all your home life, auto and business insurance needs, contact your local Farm Bureau agent, Bill Weitzel and Pigeon, or Tim Fritz in Bad Axe. And also McCormick Motors, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Chevrolet, Buick, or Pigeon, all roads lead to McCormick Motors. Starting things up, it is the Lakers with the ball. Going to drive nice this drive. nice move there by Crone. Going to be no good. Rebounded here by Ball. Ball makes Shooty take a little bit of a tumble. It is going to be the Tigers with it. Reagan Ball bringing this one back down towards our direction. Bringard with it. Oh, had an easy move there. Ashley <laughs> Murphy did. Didn't take advantage of it. There she goes. Murphy stops, puts up the shot. Backboard no good. Going to be rebounded by Hessling, though, as it goes off a couple of Lakers. We're going to get a call here against the Lakers. Going to be an inbound pass along the baseline. We'll see who they eventually get this on. Yeah, I was waiting for Murphy to take that uh, take that move a little bit earlier and kind of take a baseline, but she did not. Uh, she ended up taking it the second time, but uh, maybe a move a little bit too late uh, for Murphy. But uh, Carroll's going to go ahead and inbound this uh, on their own baseline. Got a lot of check-ins going on here. Yeah. 
lot of check-ins. <laughs> a break here. It's going to be inbounded. Gets it up to Murphy. She puts up the shot in front of the iron. No good. Going to be rebounded here by the Lakers. As it is going to be Carly Cunningham coming up with the big rebound there for the Lakers as they are still on top. 7-4. 7-0-4 left to go here in this first half. Oh. Elliston almost took an extra step right there. Long range three-point shot side of the iron. No good by the Lakers. Bringard comes up with the save. Luckily right there is going to be Arbello as she drives this one for the Tigers. Going to put her body right into the body of number 15. Uh, Irion, excuse me, it is going to be no good back the other way. 12, whoever that is, is going to put up the shot. We're going to have to ask somebody here. Uh, puts up the shot, going to be no good, and it will be a fall here against the Tigers. Yeah, you good. Is uh, there somebody out there that we don't have on the roster? Yeah, there is somebody out there. I, They just have the, the, the varsity for the boys and the girls. I don't have anything, <clears throat> so I wish I did. I'm going to... I don't even think we have an, another number that's available. So, first shot though from number twelve is made. Second shot. Were you able no to good. add a number? Yep. Okay, cool. Eight to four is your ball game doubled up on Carroll. They need something to go here. Reagan Ball going to drive this one. She just throws it up. No good. Going to be saved. They are going to say it's out of bounds. So we'll be back to the Lakers. So Lakers taking advantage here early on. Chris says. Uh, they got to take advantage of the mistakes. Not playing their best ball but, uh, this season, but that doesn't matter in this game. Yeah, take advantage of the mistakes. And if that's what's being made right now are mistakes, you got to take advantage of them. Going to be driving this one back down the other way. Irian puts up the shot. Not going to get the love from the rim. She's going to, it's going to be a rebounded by the Lakers. Shooty coming up with it. Going to be no good. So we'll uh, be back down here to the Lakers as she's going to be followed on the way up. So it is still an 8-4 ball game. 6.20 left to go here. In the second quarter play, again, part number one of your doubleheader this evening. We still have boys on the way as well. Yeah, Shooty having herself a good night thus far. Uh, four points, three rebounds already. And she's standing herself, or she's standing right now at the free throw line uh, looking for a couple extra. First shot up and off the side of the iron. No good. Stacks Market, gas, diesel, ice cream, pizza, beer, wine, liquor. They have it all. Located at 7297 Main Street in Owendale. OptiCare Vision Center, quality care, personal touch, touch excuse me, serving the community. For over 30 years, OptiCare Vision Center. Second shot up. It is good to make now a five-point lead here for the Lakers. 9-4, 6-19 left to go. Carroll back down the other way. Going to be uh, taken away here. Shooty going to come up with the steal. Wide open bucket here. Wow. Oh. She almost blew that one. We've seen that one too many times this year, but she is able to sink that as we now have an 11-4 ball game with six minutes left to go. As they're just pouring it on here in the second quarter. Carol needs to stop the bleeding a little bit here. Get a bucket at least to start the momentum. Say three seconds? No, they called it timeout. Jay oh. Riley got the timeout just as Carol did sink the bucket. We're going to get a 30-second timeout. Jay Riley going to take it. More motor sales at Carol, your local Ford, Lincoln, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram dealer. Find out what your friends and neighbors are driving at Carol other than to see us, obviously. Halftime coming up. Hey, DQ fans, need a reason, a reason to visit your local DQ Grill and Chill? How about a $4.99 four-piece chicken strip basket? If that doesn't completely fill up, grab the blizzard of the month. That's the dipped strawberry blizzard featuring chunks of Ghirardelli chocolate in strawberry topping blended with creamy DQ vanilla soft. Serve to blizzard perfection. Get it now only at your local DQ Grill and Chill. It's not fast food. It's fan food. As Chris coming back here, I think we got an answer who number 12 is. Got an answer. Lauren Henry is her name. Lauren Henry. Thank you to whoever that is down there that helped us out. Yep. Inbound pass here. Ashley oh. Murphy puts up a shot. Going to be no good. Arbella with it. Oh. No good on the putback. It is going to be rebounded here by the Tigers. And Lakers end up with it. We're going to get a jump ball. It is in the possession arrow of the Tigers. So we'll stay down here for Carroll. But uh, two opportunities blown right there for Carroll as they had a couple of two easy opportunities blown right there by Carroll. Yeah, his inbound pass, Arbello just puts the body into the Laker player. And she's going to be picking up a couple freebies here that uh, against number 30, I believe, Shooty. That'll be her second of the evening, sixth for the team. A couple weeks ago, I saw Ashlyn in the gym uh, here against Vas uh, Vaser. Vassar. First shot, back of the iron, or excuse me, back board and in. Uh, it just seemed like she couldn't miss when she got around the uh, bottom of the bucket there. But uh, tonight, uh, kind of a different story. It's just one of those nights where you feel hot. Do you feel the hot hand? And they need somebody from Carroll to feel that hot hand here soon as they're trying to shrink into this lead. And 
They're able to do so. No good. Speaking of Murphy, as she goes up there, almost ends up with a rebound. Lakers going to come up with it, though. A six-point game. 11-5 is your score. Up to Van Elston. <laughs> as it is going to be a shot here. Number 32, Caitlin Brown coming up with it. The junior, now 13-5. That's not really her name. It's just Elston. It's not Van Elston, but her name <laughs> is Greta. So You're incorporating it. I figured I would just call her that all night long, but... It is going to be Lillian Hessling with it now for the Tigers. Bringar thought about the three. She's going to drive this one. Awkward shot there, but she makes it go. Nice drive as she kind of just floats that up. It's going to be taken away here by Arbello. Nice job putting her body into the Laker defender. Going to be no good. Oh. Murphy once again a little bit too much behind that one. That's going to be no good. Going to be taken away once again by Carroll. And we're going to get a call here. It's nice job. This is this is what Carroll needs to do. They need to be feisty on this side of the uh, on this end of the court. Uh, like I said in the Vassar game, that's the way they did it. That's the way they were able to run away with the game. And you just saw it right there. They had two opportunities. Well, and anytime. Almost ready to cash in on this one. Any, anytime you can get those offensive boards, it's always going to make a big difference. But uh, Arbella not able to hit the uh, the one or the, the first one out of two. So he's got, got a shot here at the second one as uh, Arbella does a 13 7 lead here for the Lakers. So trying to keep this going. No good on that shot, so we'll end up into the hands of the Lakers as they now drive this one. Going to be taken away by Carroll. Reagan Ball almost saves it. We're going to get a jump ball. Nice job there by Carroll wow. getting the hand in there. I thought they were going to call a travel against Brown, but... Uh, that was a quick, quick jump it was. ball. I'm not going to lie. That was a quick jump ball. I agree. <laughs> it was definitely quick on the whistle there, but nonetheless, Carroll uh, Tiger fans are rejoicing in that call. As Elston inbounds this one over to Crone, she's going to call for the travel, yeah. trying to do that James Harden step. Not going to get away with it. LeBron got away with it last night, but not Curry, when Curry doesn't even school. get away with it, so you're not going to get away with it in What's high that? school. You're not going to get away with it in high school. Yeah. Curry can't get away with it. You're not going to get away with it. 13-7, <laughs> 4.45 the left to go here in this first half of play. It is going to be the Tiger ball moving from right to left on your FM dial as they bring this one down. Caitlin, uh, Katie checking on in here for the Lakers. And there's going to be a drive here by Hornbacher. Skip pass over to Rue. Rue put up the three-point shot. Oh, it ain't and no girl on the floor going to get that one. <laughs> yeah, I don't think. And everybody, everybody stops and looks awkwardly <laughs> at it. They're like, no, we can't do it. Arion tried we to help out. It. The official says, no, I can't even get it. The official says, I still can't get it. We have nobody on the Laker boys' side. The official that says, it. I'm really bad. Let me get that for you, Mr. Official. No, you still she can't get it. She almost got it. She says, hold on. Ariane, here we go. Hey, there we go. She was able to get that to uh, pop out as it got uh, wedged there. It's going to be a jump ball. So it will be, should be Carol ball. Yeah, it should be Carol ball. Jay Riley letting the uh, officials know how he felt about that. As it is a jump ball, so we'll stay over here for Carroll. As it is going to be Reagan Ball as she flips that over to Hornbacher. Hornbacher pulling back on this one. Looking over to Coach Riley. Getting the call here. She's just going to drive this one. Pulls up, pops that one just right around the free throw line there. Top of the key, fills it up. As we have a 13-9 ball game now with 4.09 left to go. You like that though? In that zone, in that 2-3 zone, a double screen up top as the girls come across. Giving uh, Hornbacher a little nice room to shoot from the free throw line. Going to be a shot here by the Lakers. No good, but we are going to get a call against Carroll here. See who they get this. Did he give a number or did he just put? No, they're going to actually call it on Carly Cunningham. Oh, it was a. Yeah, I thought, I thought it was actually going to be on Carroll too, and I thought they were calling over the back there for a second. Third fall. 358 left to go. 13 9 here. Second quarter play. Yeah, he's going to be driving this one. Reagan Ball with it. Bringing it back down this way. Nice pass. Nice pass inside. Oh. Arabella going up for the shot. Going to be knocked away by Abby Smith. As that's going to be deflected and go out of bounds. So we'll stay down here for Carroll. Shooty going to be checking in. Going to be taking a seat is going to be Caitlin Cady. You typically don't see that uh, a big block like that at the girls level. No, I haven't seen a lot of those in a while since... Uh, the days of Rain of Frost, at least. Yeah. Now, is it going to be Root now with it? She hands that off over to Hornbacher. Shouts out of play, gets ready for it. She gets up over to Ball, right in front of the official. Ball with it now. Gets it over right here in front of, 
us to Murphy in the corner. She's going to drive this one right around the same spot she put up the last shot. Not able to get as good a shot off. No good. Rebounded by Ball. It's going to be rebounded finally by Erion as it's going to be into the hands now of Madison Crone. So coming back down the other way, it is going to be the Lakers. Going to be bringing this one down the lane, putting up the shot. No good. Yep. Got a bat off the raw ball. Root takes a tumble here. Gets right back up, though, and it is going to be a jump ball. Abby Schutte said, I am not having any of that. <laughs> the ball will stay down here. I'm going to... I'm going to keep this down here for us as looking to extend this lead, but 13-9 uh, still your score, 304 left to go here in the second quarter play. Inbound pass. Puts that foot back just enough to put up the three-point shot. Was Crone no good. Going to be rebounded by the Lakers. Thrown away. We're going to get a travel call here against the Lakers. Coach Dube's not happy at all on the Lakers side of things, but it is going to be nonetheless Back into the hands of the Tigers here as they're down by four now. 13-9 still your score as they're looking to claw back into this one and uh, get back into the ball game and take the lead, if nothing else, here before halftime. Well, at least, at least they tie it, it up. If he, at else. least to tie it up, exactly. And you know, a couple you, players here. Tie it up, maybe even take the lead here eventually. Uh, you know, taking your time, setting the play up that you want. Uh, you, oh, that's there. Okay. Sorry, I was looking at their... I thought they had a sponsor up on the left-hand side of their jersey, like in the NBA, but it's the Laker logo. Sorry, oh. I, didn't mean to, I didn't mean to to interrupt, but yeah, Carroll looking to uh, tie things up here. Going to get a travel call against Hessling. She politely turns around me? <laughs> me? I heard she's uh, one of the most polite people ever, so... It takes, takes a lot to ask her to get her right. fired up with the official. Right there, it's going to be a nice takeaway here by oh. Armello for the Tigers. Not going to be able to get that ball going up and in as shooting now with it. How did they not call? I have oh no. Oh, my goodness. Elston even shook her head. She knew she traveled, and the official just shook his head. No. It is going to be still Laker ball, though. They're going to drive this one, and of course they're going to score because that's the way it goes when you miss a call. Shooty coming up with it, but it's all fair as it is a uh, human sport, right? Yeah, that's right. You hear that, Saints? Humans make mistakes. <laughs> it is going to be. You went there. <laughs> Hessling put out the shot. She's going to get the miss on that one. I don't know if a Laker player kind of deflected that a little bit, but nonetheless. It is going to be out of bounds. We'll be back to the Lakers now. 15-9, 1.45 left to go here in this first half of play. Shooting now with it. Wide open up is going to be Smith. Abby Smith can drive this one. She puts that body against Hessling. They're not going to call that one as it is going to be no good on the shot. Going to be rebounded by Carroll. Bring guard up as it can be swatted away here by the Lakers. Bulls knocks that one out of bounds. It will go back over to the Carroll Tigers or stay into the hands of the Carroll Tigers as they're going to inbound this one from the far sideline. Yeah, is, uh, I, I would expect Carroll just to kind of take their time here, set up the play you need. You're no big rush to score points. It's, you're not down a whole lot. You know, it's just about halftime. You know, honestly, you haven't had school in a few days either. So yeah. the practices have obviously been very, very limited. Hasslim tries to put up the shot. No good. Root going to come up with the rebound, though, as she flips it over to Bringard. Bringard now with it. Picks up a nice screen there by Hessling. Tries to do a little... Dipsy do there as she tries to put up the shot. Gonna be no good. She's gonna head to the line now and try to pick up a couple freebies here with 103 left to go in your first half of play. Stick around your halftime show brought to you by local DQ Grill and Chill. It's not fast food, it's fan food. I, I, I mentioned what the February blizzard of the month was, but you weren't here. Ugh. You had to go get that uh, player name. Had to go I'll get Lauren you know Henry's name. Though. First shot there by Bringard is good. We are going to do this week in high school sports brought to you by the MHSA between games tonight because we do have a boys girls game and uh, we'll try to get an interview with uh, whoever from the girls side. Whoever. I like how you say that. Whoever. Well, we'll find out who wins. Spring guard second shot. No good. Makes us a five point game with one minute exactly left to go here in this first half of play. Elston going to drive this one up for the Tiger, or excuse me, for the Lakers. She stops, puts up the mid range jumper, fills it up and in. As it is now a 17-10 ball game with 48 seconds left to go. Like you said, Chris, so they've had a couple days off here. Practices have been minimal. So i uh, got to shake out that rust, and I'm sure Coach Riley going to let them know about that at halftime. And uh, 
We'll see if Carroll can come out here with a different game plan or if the Lakers are going to keep pouring things on because doing a pretty good job right now. Shooty's very, very impressive for the Lakers, not going to lie. She's, uh, she's bringing her game tonight. There's going to be Bringard now with it. Skip pass over to Murphy. She puts up the three-point shot. No good. Root, though, feisty little thing out there. She jumps up and pulls that one down, pulls it away from her defender, and it is going to be a call here against the Lakers. So it will be the ninth. Is it not a one-on-one? -on -one? Yeah, it should be a one-on-one. -on -one. I was going to say, it should yeah. be. So it will be Kendall, or excuse me, uh, yeah, Kendall, right? Yep. I always get her mistaken with her sister. <laughs> No, it's Kaylee. Kendall. Yeah, no, it's Kendall. I, I don't don't that. don't mistake. You start mistaking, then that could be a that could be a bad thing. Uh, I always get these siblings mixed up, though. I always remember the kids from yesteryear. Back of the iron, no good on that shot. We're gonna get a check in here. Was that against Shooty? No. No, it wasn't. No. Okay. Say, because that would be her third already. Root gonna try to make this a six-point ball game. Fills that one up. 18 seconds left to go, 17-11. See if Carroll puts on the full court press here. They pull back a little bit. Trap Elson in the corner as she gets it up. Got a three on two here, bringing it back down the other way. That's not oh, another travel, wow. but it's another miss here by the officials. But nonetheless, it is going to be rebounded here by Crone. Elston puts up the shot. She's going to be followed. Oh, she's going to get called for the travel. That was an interesting call. Out of all the travel calls we have seen, that was one of the more weaker ones, but... Nonetheless, they're going to call it 1.6 seconds left. We'll see who gets this shot and just kind of heaves it up there. But, hey, we've been pretty good luck with these. Uh, oh, we have been. <laughs> with these last second shots before halftime. We'll see who ends up with the ball. See who their Jordan Poole is out there. As yeah, so we're going to get into Bringard. She's going to turn around and just kind of throws it. Nice uh, shot there. She could uh, do some quarterback playing possibly here yeah. for the, the uh, Tigers next season. Or actually, I think she's a senior, so. They might be out of luck there. Nonetheless, we're going to take a couple minutes. We're going to come back as we got your halftime action once again. Brought to you by your local DQ Grill and Chill. It's not fast food, it's fan food. Stay right there. It's your Classic Rock I-92 Game of the Week. Come on, man. Don't you die on me. Doctor, we're losing him. Clear. He can't die. He hasn't heard about how much money he could save if he switched from cable to direct TV. Uh, doctor? Clear. Plus, if he'd like Bad X or Carol's AT&T Facebook page, he could win prizes just in time for the holidays. Doctor, he's going to make it. Behold the power of savings. Hey, it's Bob Hughes from the Morning Traffic Jams. I want to take a minute to tell you about Air Advantage Wireless and Fiber Internet Services. Since I've lived in the Thumb, the only choice I've had for internet has been wireless, because that's just how it is out here. I went through two other providers before I found Air Advantage Wireless for my home. In the coming months, Air Advantage and I-92 will be telling you about the investment they're beginning to make in the Thumb to bring the world a little closer, a lot quicker. I am currently using that new technology, and it's the only company that has given me the reliability and bandwidth I can count on. So stay tuned. There's more to come from Air Advantage Internet Services. Grazzle Graphics of Frankenmuth is your one-stop shop for all things screen printing and embroidery. Business, corporations, festivals, sporting events, teams, or even family reunions, t-shirts, jackets, hats, or any apparel you may need can be found at Grazzle Graphics. You can even put it all together and shop from their online store. Trust their 30-plus years of service, for second and none customer service, quick response, and highest quality products around. Visit them online, GrazzleGraphics.com. Call 989-652-5151 or in person, 9710 Junction Road in Frankenmuth. Are you looking for new furniture, flooring, appliances? The place to go in the thumb is Schneeburgers in downtown Cass City. At Schneeburgers, choose from hundreds of models on floor, in stock, right now, ready to go. So whether it's a Lazy Boy chair, sofa, or love seat, they've got it at Schneeburgers in downtown Cass City. Maybe you're looking for flooring. Well, Schneeburgers has that too. Everything from laminate, wood, tile, whatever it is you need. If you want to get it at the best price around, then you need to go to Schneeburgers in downtown Cass City today. More Shoreline Chevrolet Buick and Seabwing has close to 200 new Chevrolet and Buick cars, trucks, and SUVs in a great selection of certified pre-owned. Visit moreshoreline.com now and find your car today. While online, you can also schedule a test drive or even schedule service for your vehicle. More Shoreline serves Cairo, Bad Axe, Bay City, all of the thumb and beyond, and they are ready to serve you. Chevy, find new roads in M25 and Seabwing or call More Shoreline today, 877 272 
3219. The broadcast of today's game is a copyright presentation of the Michigan High School Athletic Association and 92.1 WIDL. No reproduction, retransmission, or other distribution of the descriptions or counts of this game may take place without the express written consent of the MHSAA and 92.1 this WIDL. This is Tanya Rubin, sales executive at Thumb Cellular. If you're thinking of switching mobile phone carriers, consider Thumb Cellular. Now is the time to get the tailored service you need from the local company you can trust. Unlike the other carriers, we like to build lasting relationships with our customers. I will work with your busy schedule to meet and discuss how we can best serve you. As the only local cellular carrier with the best coverage in the thumb and nationwide, I can introduce you to what we call the thumb cellular difference. Get the device you want, the plan you need, and the exceptional customer service you deserve without ever having to step foot in the store. So if you're ready for a better cellular experience, call me, Tanya Rubin, at 989-553-5282. Remember, at Thumb Cellular, we've got you covered. You love Thumb Cellular! Hi, I'm Bud Schneeberger here in Cass City, and of course, Russ, he's at it again. He got that whole semi-load of late. Easy boy chairs in, and of course that means that we got to get rid of those leftovers. And we got the new ones in right now, brand new Lazy Boy chairs. And of course, you know Schneebergers are always lowest prices in the thumb on all Lazy Boy chairs, all Lazy Boy products, sofas and chairs. And of course, it's coming in now by the truckload, and we've got the whole load of appliances coming in this afternoon. Washers and refrigerators, and dishwashers, freezers, upright and chest freezers, gas and electric ranges. So you drive a little folks, you're going to save a lot on all those fine Lazy Boy chairs and appliances. And don't forget those flooring. We got them by the ro- rolls and rolls and rolls of carpet. So you drive a little, you're going to save a lot of Schneebers in Cass City. As Michigan's insurance company, Farm Bureau Insurance offers a full range of insurance services to make your life easier and your future more secure. Your Farm Bureau Insurance agent is your one-stop insurance professional. Through just one agent, you have access to auto, business, farm, health, home, life, and retirement. Visit your local Farm Bureau agent today. Visit the David Soper Agency and Wayne Sayers Agency, both in Carroll, or the Deb Croswick Agency in Unionville. Farm Bureau Insurance, Michigan's insurance company. As Michigan's insurance company, Farm Bureau Insurance offers a full range of insurance services to make your life easier and your future more secure. Your Farm Bureau Insurance agent is your one-stop insurance professional. Through just one agent, you have access to auto, business, farm, health, home, life, and retirement. Visit your local Farm Bureau agent today. Visit the Dennis Miller Agency in Vassar, Reggie Ignash Agency in Cass City, or Kim Butcher Agency in Carroll. Farm Bureau Insurance, Michigan's insurance company. Larson Graphics in Vassar is your go-to for all your graphic and printing needs. They offer vinyl graphics with an array of options, small and large printing for everything from pamphlets and calendars to banners and entire wall graphics and everything in between. Have a business? Spruce it up with new signage or literally wear your brand on your sleeve with apparel options galore. Larson Graphics, located at 1065 East Huron Avenue in Vassar. Call 823-3000 or visit LarsonGraphics.com. That's LarsonGraphics.com. Sportsmanship is still relevant in school sports. Good sportsmanship should be a given at our games. It's one of the primary reasons we have school sports to begin with, to help today's young people become tomorrow's community leaders. You can learn more about sportsmanship and download a full kit of sportsmanship ideas from the MHSA website at mhsaa.com. A message from the Michigan High School Athletic Association, promoting the value and values of educational athletics. Welcome back to the Classic Rock I-92 High School Game of the Week. Let's get back to the action with Scott Bowlesby and Chris Wilcox. We are back with the Classic Rock I-92 Game of the Week. It is your halftime show brought to you by your local DQ Grill and Chill. Hey, DQ fans, need a reason to visit your local DQ Grill and Chill. How about a 4 dollars four-piece chicken strip basket? If that doesn't completely fill you up, grab the blizzard of the month. It's a dipped strawberry blizzard featuring chunks of Ghirardelli chocolate, strawberry topping blended with creamy DQ vanilla soft, served to blizzard perfection. Get it now only at your local DQ Grill and Chill. It's not fast food, 
It's fan food, and it is uh, 17-11. Lakers on top here as uh, your leading scorer in that first half of uh, play was uh, Abby Schutte leading the way here for the uh, Elkton Pigeon Bayport Lakers as she had nine points, and Ellie Hornbacher leading the way on the Carroll side of things with four points. Chris will fill in the... Uh, Sorry, Scotty. I was, a little bit there. I, I was, yeah, I was catching up a little, little bit. Uh, but yeah, okay. Lakers, on, Lakers on top, 17 to 11, as uh, Scotty kind of already gave you a little bit of rundown. Abby Schutte, nine points, five boards for the Lakers, having herself a heck of a ball game so far. Uh, also uh, chipping in is uh, Emma Erie. Uh, two points, four boards, and Greta Van Elston, as Scotty likes to call her, two points and one board. Caitlin Brown with two points as well. For the Carroll Tigers, Ellie Hornbacher leading the way, four points, one board. Olivia Bringard, three points, and Caitlin Arbella with three points. Really where it comes in, the free throw line. Carroll, three of 11 for the charity stripe. Lakers, two of four. Yeah. Uh, points you know. points that are left out there. Yeah, there's plenty of them, and Carroll had quite a few different opportunities down low to get a couple of big points as well. Not we're, we're not able to do so, so now they uh, go back to the drawing board here at halftime and see what uh, Coach Riley does draw up. So we'll see what they can do again. Did you hear that? I did hear that. It was my phone. Oh, I was like... <laughs> uh, You're like a little kid fell or something, I, yeah, right? Yeah, <laughs> because well, before the game, Co or, uh, uh, Dave Bitch, the athletic director here, was talking about uh, an accident he uh, 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 witnessed or heard when he was uh, oh, uh, yes. up at USA. Yes. And he said he was watching the game and heard a plop sound and a kid had fallen over the bleachers onto the floor on the other side. So Yeah, not good. We don't want any of that here. Yeah, so I was wondering if... <laughs> That that noise had come back to haunt us here, but <laughs> luckily it was not. It was just Chris's phone, so and it's still working. No right? kid, no no, yeah, no kids, uh, no kids flopping over bleachers. Let's uh, let's not hope for that anyway. Yeah, no tonight. kidding. But uh, you know, for Carroll, they got they got to pick it up. Uh, there's sloppy on the offensive end. Some of, can some of it be attributed to you know not having school uh, practices? Yeah, but you can't always make excuses. You just kind of got to no. go at it. And uh, you know, for for the Lakers, just keep doing what you're doing. It's as simple as that, you know. Uh, Shooty's having herself in an outstanding ball game. She stays out of foul trouble. Lakers keep rolling. Yeah, yeah. And she did pick up at least two that I know of in the first half. So we'll see uh, if Carroll can uh, keep pushing that against her. As Carroll now going to be moving from left to right on your FM dial. That was your halftime show. You brought to you by your local DQ Grill and Chill. It's not fast food; it's fan food. You'll get another one a little bit later on because you are lucky. You get two halftime shows in this double header as going to be the Tigers almost losing it. Hornbacher she was able to keep her hands on that one going to be put up the shot no good battle for the ball going to go off of the Lakers that will stay down here for the Tigers or stay down there for the Tigers as Caro now on the opposite end of the gymnasium I love, where we are right now I love how intently that the official is like right there like yeah. eyes on the ground to the uh, to the foul line Hornbacher trying to get this in She's able to finally get into Hessling as she gets that off the backboard, fills that up and in. 17-13 now, 7.30 left to go here in this third quarter play. Kind of that full court press going on here for the Tigers as they pull one back as it is going to be a drive here by shooting no good. Nice job there by Hessling, kind of just fills up that lane, puts those arms straight up in the air and is able to disrupt the shot there by Schutte. Nonetheless, going to go out of bounds and we'll stay down here for the Lakers. 7-21 left to go. Four-point game, 17-13 is your score in this third quarter of play. It is going to be Elston as she inbounds this one over to the hands of number three, Smith, as she quickly gets that back over to Crone. Bowles now with it. Another great uh, legendary name up there in Laker country. Oh, Seth yeah. Bowles was a heck of a uh, football player just a couple of seasons ago uh, for the Lakers. Out on the gridiron as going to be a drive here. Kicks back. Elston just inside the three-point line. Fills it up and in. She's got a nice little mid-range jumper there. She does. She so. does. And I think you, you notice she positions herself every time at that spot. So she coaches know, spot. players know where to find her at. Exactly. We'll see. Drive it can. and kick it. She can keep it going here for the Lakers. That is, it is going to be ball now with it for the Tigers. Six-point game. Gets that back over to Hornbacher. Hornbacher with it now. And she's going to try to drive this. Pulls it back. Gets it over. It's that ball that put up the shot. It was no good on the long-range shot. Going to be rebounded by the Lakers. Looking to extend this lead. Already up by six. 19-13 is your score. 6.20 left to go in this third quarter of play. 
A wide open underneath for the Lakers. Get a little bit of love from the rim there. Abby Smith fills it up and in. Back to eight points now is your score. 21-13 with 6-10 left to go in this third quarter of play. It is going to be Hornbacher bringing this up as looking to get something going. They just, Carroll just does not look like they have much life right now. They need something to get that uh, energy spark. But give uh, credit to the Lakers as get a long range shot here. We're going to get a call. Three free throws as that's going to be against Bulls. Not a good follow to take right there as you're going to send Arbello to the line for three freebies that can uh, shrink this lead to five just like that. Yeah, definitely not a foul that you wanted to uh, give up. But uh, nonetheless, uh, Arbello heading to the line, going to be shooting three as uh, ooh, bounces off the back of the air and drops on in. So first one good, still two left here. And uh, you know what? Easy way to make some points up when you can, uh, you can get them while the clock is stopped. Yeah, that always helps out. going on? I don't know. Are they saying two or three? They're figuring things out. They're bringing official talking to the scores table. Officials meeting in the line right by the free throw shooter. The official right by the play shot at three. The near official is saying two. I saw Riley putting up three fingers. I do believe and the official was giving him two. Two shots. Two more left. Is it two left or is it just two? Two left. Two left. Okay. okay. Arbello's second free throw here. Fills that one up and in. See, I think Carly Cunningham was even confused because <laughs> she, yeah. she started to box out uh, right after the shot was made. Then she pulls herself back in. Checking out, out is uh, Cunningham. Checking on in is number 12, Lauren Henry. There you go. <laughs> nice to have a name with the face, huh? Yep. Arbello's third. Not able to do so. She's able to get her own rebound, though. Tips it back over the ball. Nice job there by the Tigers as they're down by six, but they do have the ball back, so they can shrink this even more now. Got to get a smart shot off here. Root with it as she gets it over to Arbello, over to Hornbacher in the far corner. Hornbacher, high pass over to Hesslina. She just hands that right back over to Hornbacher. Over to Root. Hands it off over to Ball. Ball now with it. Yeah, I His don't, own defense I, I is don't just know about killing this, them right this, now. This up and over lazy passing is I'm kind of beside myself just watching it. Because <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> you know that there's going to be a turnover in there. Makes you nervous. Arbella with it. She's going to drive this one. Nice shot. She's going to keep that composure up in the air. Puts a shot. No good. She's going to be followed on the way up. That call is going to be against number three, Abby Smith, the senior. It's going to be the second team follow here for the Lakers as Carroll now looking to shrink this to possibly a four-point game. Well, one of the biggest things that Arbello has is, uh, you know, she's a lefty. So when she goes to shoot it, wherever she's at, you know, everybody's so used to swatting at that right hand. Well, guess what? It's not there. It's on the left Wrong side. One, so. Yeah. First shot, no good. I want to thank Dumb Area Psychological Services, only local agency, offered counseling, applied to behavioral analysis. Call them at 872 1800. Stop into their Carol Cassidy location and CMR Tractors, Coyote Tractor Dealership at 7530 State Road in Millington, or visit CMRTractors.com. Second shot, no good. Back at the iron, going to be rebounded by the Lakers. Getting lucky right there as they were able to dodge a bullet, as it is going to be a six point game still. 21 15, 508 left to go. Third quarter play here. Lakers on top as slowing things down. Spreading his zone defense right on out with the Going shot. With the Corona. Shot. Yeah. No good. Going to be taken here by Hornbacher on that rebound. Showing a little bit more life here are the Tigers quickly up the other way. Arbella wanted the ball. They get it up to her. She misses the shot. Rebounded here by the Lakers. Arbello staying right there with her. They're going to get the call finally on Arbello. Took them long enough. Arbello had the ball in her hand, but... Uh, Going to be a call against Arbello here. 21-15, still your score. And that'll be Caitlin's just her first of the evening and just the first on the team here in this second half. So Carroll put on this full court press though, Chris, as we saw it disrupt Lakers earlier. We'll see if it does it again. They're able to break it quickly as they're bringing this one down. Henry with the shot, and she's going to miss on that. Rebounded though by the Lakers. Too many offensive boards Carroll is letting up as Root going to finally come up with that one right there. Hornbacher going to get that into her hands as she brings this up here now for the Tigers. Again, moving from left to right on your FM dial. So we got the boys game coming up a little bit later on. Stick around for that. 
Root now with it. Yeah, this should be an interesting game, just because there's been no practices, really. Yeah, so just like I, this one. Exactly. Never know what to expect. Root, nice drive along the baseline. Cannot finish, though. Reagan Ball going to come up with the rebound. Nice offensive board as she is able to get it back over to Hornbacher. Hornbacher bringing this one up. Trying to get around, oh. going to get a ball, battle for the ball. Possession arrow is in the direction of the Lakers, and that will be called a jump ball. So turnover there by the Tigers, and a break here for the Lakers. I think she kind of knew it right away. Arbello checking out, Murphy checking on in. Checking in for the Lakers is Shooty, and I believe it was number four? Yes, it is number four, Carly Cunningham. So we'll be... Lakers bringing this one up here. 3.45 left to go. 21-15. Greta Elston with it. She puts up a shot. That was not a three. Thomas foot, went on the uh, foot was on the line. Yeah. It looked like it was very close there. Nice long-range shot, though, to make this now an eight-point game. So Lakers still in control here, Chris. 3.28 left to go. Carroll looking to get something going here. It is going to be Reagan Ball with it. Gets it inside. Nice job getting that ball inside. Cannot get anything to go, though. Carroll cannot buy a bucket when they get down low like that as they're held at just 15 points still in this ball game with 3.13 left to go in this third quarter of play. 23-15 is your score. Bringing this one up is going to be number four, Carly Cunningham, as she quickly gets it over. Nice job down low. Arion, she's going to be triple teamed. She's going to flip that back. Long range shot here. Three-pointer no good by the Lakers. Rebounded by Hornbacher. She brings this back down the other way. Eight-point game looking to cut into this. She's going to go coast to coast here. Puts up the shot. No good. We're not going to get a call. It's going to go out of bounds off of the Lakers. Jay Riley not happy as he gets up, has a little chat with the official, and going to be nonetheless staying down here for the Tigers. <laughs> He's trying to get the blocking foul. Official says, I don't think so. No, no. Let him play a little <laughs> bit out here. Uh, I've seen that. Uh, we've seen that quite a bit this season, though. So the quick on the, the quick on the jump ball. But they are letting him play. Yeah. <laughs> Haven't seen any offensive fouls, though. Uh, not too many, I should say, like we did in that Cass City uh, game against Carroll. Just throwing it up there is Bringar going to be no good. Ball goes off of Abby Schutte. Somehow, luckily, the Lakers end up with it. It is going to end up in the hands of Cunningham as she brings this one down for the Lakers. Over to Schutte. Eight-point game, 23-15. Schutte going to drive this one. Puts up the shot. No good. Bringard with the rebound for the Tigers. Schutte right there with her. Ready to take this one away. Bringard going to be trapped in the corner. She's able to get away from that. Over to Ball. Gets it down low. Nice job by Hessling. Puts up the shot. Nice and left in. Hand. And Hessling going to be heading to the line now after that bucket. As it is going to be a 23-15 ball game, trying to shrink this back down to 15, or excuse me, 15.5 points with two through 13 left to go in this third quarter. Yeah, nice left hand there as uh, Hessling gets the ball low and she just takes it to her, takes it to her right, and then just kind of a nice left hand up and in, which you don't typically see girls use their left hand that well no. unless they're dominantly left-handed, and Hessling is not; she's right-handed. So, it, very, very nice shot there by Hessling. Hessling, speaking of, looking to go for that old school three-point play here. She puts up the shot, fills it up. 23-18 as Arbella looking to check in here and going to be checking out is going to be Hessling. As they shrink it back down to five points, 2-13. We'll see if they can get over this hump, though. They have not been able to get over that five-point hump for some time as they get this up. Going to be a two-on-one the other way. Nice bounce pass over to Chrome. Puts up the shot. They're going to get that right back, possibly. Crone gets a bucket, looking to get the three-point play here and increase this lead right on back to eight. So if I'm Coach Riley, I don't like this setup. There's a reason why I don't like this setup is because you have Hornbacher back here who is obviously one of your leading scorers. So now when there's a two-verse-one, either A, you have to tell her she has to back completely off, or B, she has to go after it. Well, guess what? Now she's got three fouls. Crone puts up the shot, fills it up, back to an eight-point game here, just like that. 2 6 left to go in this third quarter. As it is going to be Hornbacher bringing this down. I want to thank Agra Valley Services Tech Team. Visit abci.net. Hornbacher with it. Gets over to Bringard. Back over to Hornbacher. Pulling back on this one over to Ball. Ball to skip pass over to Bringard in the corner. She's going to drive this one towards the lane. Gets over to Hornbacher. Horn back over, over to Bringard. Back over to Ball. Hornbacher with it now. Still down by eight with 140 left to go in this third quarter of play. Bringard back over to Ball. Trying to go inside, and uh, that's not working out for them this evening. 
as they finally get it inside over to Murphy. She is going to be... Is that going to be on Shooty? It's going to be on Shooty. Shooty's sitting on some fall trouble, but they're going to send Elston right in. It is? Yes, it was on Shooty. I believe that's her... Her fourth, so yeah. Living dangerously. Yep. But they are going to take her out. 126 left to go here in this third quarter of play. She's asking the official, what did I do? <laughs> what did I do? Tell me what I did. Dragon Ball three-point shot on the inbound. Going to be no good. Arbella with the rebound. No good. As it is going to be rebounded by the Lakers. Now bringing it back down the other way is going to be Kyle Bowles. 114 left to go. 26-18 is your score. Lakers still on top here. Caro not able to get out of those teams quite yet. Yeah, they're just having themselves a hard time. We're going to get a call here. Is that a five-second call? Yeah. yeah. An offensive call. Five seconds? That could have been five seconds. What was that? Yeah, it was five seconds. Really? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that was quick. Yeah, it was a quick five seconds, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I thought it so. Brown going to be checking in here for the Lakers. Kyle Bowles going to be taking a seat. Bowles taking a seat. Caitlin Brown checking on in for the Lakers. Going to be an inbound pass here just in front of the Laker bench. Under a minute left to go. 26-18, still your score. Carroll has an opportunity here to shrink that lead. Hornbacher with it gets it over to Root. Back over to Hornbacher. Looking down low once again, but uh, seeing up all that space down low are the Lakers. Going to be inside pass off a couple of hands here. Going to go off of Elston, so we'll stay down here for the Tigers. For all your home, life, auto, and business insurance needs, contact your local Farm Bureau agent, Tim Fritz and Ben X, or Bill Weitzel and Pigeon, and McCormick Motors, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Chevrolet, Buick, a pigeon, all roads lead to McCormick Motors. I want to thank all of our sponsors here in this doubleheader this evening. 38.5 seconds left to go. Inbound pass. Quickly putting the shot up. No good for the Tigers. And that's going to go back down the other way for the Lakers. Yeah, not a uh, not a good series of events right there for Carroll. But uh, I'd like to see Carroll drive it a little bit more. Uh, even though they've gotten to the foul line, it's been on, on second chance points. But uh, here comes Lakers. Nice, I want to say interception, not interception. Kendall Root with a the pickoff there. And heading back the other way for Carroll as Bringard uh, takes it down low. Oh, man. Throws a body in, trips, falls. Going to call travel it against travel. the Lakers yeah. here. Going to be a turnover. So we'll go back into the hands of the Tigers. 18 seconds left to go. They can chip into this and make this at least a six-point game. Before the fourth quarter, it would be uh, definitely better, uh, maybe a better comfort zone than what they're in right now. As it is going to be Bringard, makes her defender bite. She just kind of throws it up. No good. Rebounded by the Tigers. Arbella with it. Eight seconds left to go. Rendell, uh, Rendell. Kendall Root with it. Gets it over to Ball. Three seconds. Puts up the shot. No good. Got a rebound here by the Lakers. It's going to stay an eight-point game, 26-18, as we enter the fourth and final frame here. As this is the Lakers in the driver's seat. We'll see if they can keep it going here. It is your Classic Rock on any game of the week. Stick around. Grazzle Graphics of Frankenmuth is your one-stop shop for all things screen printing and embroidery. Business, corporations, festivals, sporting events, teams, or even family reunions, T-shirts, jackets, hats, or any apparel you may need can be found at Grazzle Graphics. You can even put it all together and shop from their online store. Trust their 30-plus years of service for second-to-none customers service, quick response, and highest quality products around. Visit them online, grazzographics.com, call 989-652-5151, or in person, 9710 Junction Road in Frankenmuth. Welcome back to the Classic Rock I-92 High School Game of the Week. Let's get back to the action with Scott Bowlesby and Chris Wilcox. We are back with the action here on Classic Rock I-92 with your Game of the Week. Thank you for joining us this evening. We're going to have your post-game show, Numero Uno, coming up. Brought to you by Denny Miller, your local Farm Bureau insurance agent. Located in Vassar from McDonald's. Across from McDonald's, call them at 823-8493. I uh, want to thank, uh, real quick, a couple more sponsors. Stacks Market, gas, diesel, ice cream, pizza, beer, wine, liquor. They have it all at Stacks Market, 7297 Main Street in Owendale. OptiCare Vision Center, quality care, personal touch, serving the community for over 30 years. OptiCare Vision Center of Carroll and more motor sales of Carroll, your local <laughs> Ford, Lincoln, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram dealer. Find out why your friends and neighbors are driving to Carroll. What's up? Coach Coach Dube says, be smart. Shooty points to her head. Be smart. 
Uh, she's back in with four fouls. So That's what you want. You don't want uh, her out. She's a big part of this puzzle here for the Lakers as it is going to be a shot here by the Tigers to start things off. No good. Hessling coming up with the rebound. 26-18, 7.40 left to go in our ball game, our game of the week. Game number one, we still got the boys on the way. Bringard puts up the shot back of the iron. No good. It's tipped away. Going to be rebounded by Hesley. No good. She gets boxed out. Got a battle for the ball on the ground. We're going to get a jump ball. It's going to be Lakers possession. So back down the other way. It is going to go here for the Lakers. Not Shooty, to... Shooty went up to swat that shot by Hesling, And I thought she was going to get called for it. I thought she was going to get called for it, but she did not. Luckily on her part, she did not. As it will be Bowles now with it. She's going to drive this. Shooty with it. Gets it over to Elston. And right there in that sweet spot once again, Chris. That's where you she want it. She fills it up. Absolutely. Elston all over it. Greta Van Elston as she is able to fill it up. Bring guard with it. Over to Root. Down low as we get a 10-point game here. Trying to shrink this lead. Carroll just puts it back up. Finally is able to get it to go. Rag and ball. Makes this back down now to an eight-point game, 28-20, 6.53 left to go in this fourth quarter of play. Lakers getting trapped. We're going to get a timeout, full timeout here by Coach Dubes. Very smart timeout here by Coach Dubes. Very, as very smart timeout by Coach Dubes. He saw, I believe it was Crone over there, trapped along the sideline. She was she was flirting with disaster right along the uh, center court there, line there, so... Is able to avoid disaster there. I want to thank Grazzo Graphics, 9710 Junction Road in Frankenmuth. Visit grazzographics.com for all your printing needs. Grazzo Graphics uh, hooking us up with our Athlete of the Week shirt says we got one right here for Ellie Hornbacher. See if she can uh, join us up here after the game. If, uh, well, more than likely if they win, hopefully they can uh, come back from being down here and get things going. Air Advantage for high-speed, reliable internet service. Check out airadvantage.net. Visit airadvantage.net. Call 866-877-1AIR. That's 866-877-1247. And Larson Graphics. Check them out. 1065 East here on Avenue in Vassar. Visit larsongraphics.com or call 823-3000. They are the sponsor of our banner and also our shirts that we have uh, plenty of to give out. So uh, if you see us out of the game, uh, we even bring them. I'm going to bring them to some games that we just cover just to give them away. We need to. It was, it's uh, kind of hard because we're on the air most of the yeah. time, right? And uh, We need to give know. them the cheerleaders. Really? We should? We've got a bunch of them down there that we can say, hey, just throw these out here in the game. Yeah. So we got uh, the Lakers on top here, 28-20. Elston with it. She's trying to drive this. She skips, skips past it over to Crone. She's going to have a nice shot nice. down the lane. Little finger roll almost. She gets that love from the front of the iron as that tips in, and that's going to bring it back to a 10-point lead, and now she's going to try to increase this to an 11-point lead. will be the largest lead of the evening here for the Lakers, or for either side, I should say, with 6.35 left to go. And it's going to be the second for Arbello. So just a rough night here for the Tigers so far. Yeah, definitely not a good night here for the Tigers, but uh, Chrome for the three-point play. Shot is up and off the back of the iron. Hessling going to come up with a rebound over to Hornbacher. Still just a 10-point lead. I know uh, it doesn't sound like a lot, but uh, with the way that the scoring has come this evening for the Tigers, not able to go as Hornbacher is going to go down. She's going to lose the possession of the ball. Lakers are going to come up with it. It's going to be Chrome back down the other way. A lot of separation between her and Murphy. As he luckily misses that three-point shot for the Tigers, uh, or luckily for the Tigers, she misses that three-point shot, rebounded by the Tigers. Still 30-20 with six minutes left to go. Nice job underneath. Hessling had a shot. She's going to get that over. we got a new player in here, Mackenzie Schmidt, the sophomore, is able to get that up and in. Make this now 30 to 22. Well, you know what? You know with shooting being down low, she's not going to foul you, so you got, an, you got an easy shot. Have to attack that more. We'll see if they do so. It's going to be Crone with it. Gets it over to Elliston. Elliston just inside the three-point line. Another nice shot there. Wow. Greta Elliston, very impressive so far this evening. She hits double digits, I believe. She does. She that does. Gives her wow. 10. Just hit 10. So there you go. Greta Elston uh, definitely stepping up her game this evening. 32-22, 5-25 left to go. It is going to be the Tigers now looking to shrink this lead again. 5.15 left to go. Down low, it's going to be Hessling as she gets it over to Hornbacher. Hornbacher driving this one down the lane. Put up the shot, no good. Rebounded by Elston as she gets it up wide open. It's going to be Carly Cunningham as she's going to drive this one to the hoop. She's going to be oh. blocked from behind. Nice job by Arbello getting a nice. hand on that one. 
little Tayshawn Prince like coming out of nowhere and knocking that one away. Great hustle by Arbello. Maybe not as impressive, I guess, as <laughs> Tayshawn Prince, but still nonetheless for high school is, is very impressive as it is going to be Hornbacher. Hessling turns around, puts a shot up, and that's going to be tipped by the Lakers, so that will stay down here for the uh, Tigers. Uh, a couple check-ins here for the Lakers. Uh, Irian checking on in as well. Number 12, Lauren Henry checking on in. Taking a seat is Crone and Cunningham. Taken away by Shooty. Very easy, wide open here. As easy layup, can't get any easier than that. It's gonna be Henry putting out that shot. Now back to 12 points, 34, 22, 4, 30 left to go. It is going to be the final frame here. Caro has got to get something going. Hornbacher playing like a player to range. That is going to be it for Shooty. She just picked up her fifth ball. On a very easy fall, Hornbacher just drove at her, and Shooty kind of just stood her ground, and that was it. So Shooty going to be taking a seat. That'll be it for her. We'll see uh, if they got enough of a cushion here to uh, ride this one out. But the way Elson's been shooting, uh, she's uh -huh. kind of... Uh, overpass Shooty here this evening as the best player on the floor here for the Lakers. So we'll be Schmidt with it as she just gets that over to Hornbacher. Hornbacher going to drive this one. Kind of an awkward shot there. Hessling underneath the basket gets back over to Schmidt. Schmidt with it. Pulls it back down. Gets it over to Hornbacher. Back over to Murphy. Murphy pulls that back over to Hessling. Going to be a long range three from Hornbacher. Wow. Quick time Much out. needed three there as it cuts it back down to single digits. 34-25, 3.57 left to go, and it's a full timeout. We're going to stay right here. Actually, no, we're going to take a 30-second timeout. We'll come back. we got more Game of the Week action for you. It is Classic Rock I-92. Stay right there. Larson Graphics in Vassar is your go-to for all your graphic and printing needs. They offer vinyl graphics with an array of options, small and large printing for everything from pamphlets and calendars to banners and entire wall graphics and everything in between. Have a business? Spruce it up with new signage or literally wear your brand on your sleeve with apparel options galore. Larson Graphics, located at 1065 East Huron Avenue in Vassar. Call 823-3000 or visit LarsonGraphics.com. That's LarsonGraphics.com. Welcome back to the Classic Rock I-92 High School Game of the Week. Let's get back to the action with Scott Bowlesby and Chris Wilcox. And we are back with your Classic Rock I-92 Game of the Week. 3.57 left to go. Nine-point game. Big three-point shot there by Ellie Hornbacher. Need a couple more of those as inbound like pass that? here. Five-second call. Five-second. Nice job there by the Tigers. Oh, man. Coach Tube's not happy at all. Thought maybe he could get something rolling there with a little uh, little trickery on the inbounds, but just couldn't. Hornbacher looking for back-to-back -back threes. Heat check no good. Going to be a nice rebound. There you go, Caitlin Arbello gets the rebound. Muscles her way on in as she's going to fill that one up and in. It's going to be a seven-point game, and Arbello, excuse me, no, that's Murphy getting in front of that one, knocks it away, but it will be staying down here or down there, I should say, for the Lakers. So good job for Carroll so far after that timeout. We'll see if they can keep things going here. Going to get it into Elston as Elston being guarded by Ball. She's able to get that one up, though, to the hands of Bowles. Back down the other way. Henry, she puts that one up. It's going to be tipped out of bounds by the Tigers right here down in front of us. 34-27, so seven-point game with 3.35 left to go. Still plenty of time to get those seven points, though, Chris. I mean, a with the way... Uh, a, lot, a lot of time now that you have Shooty kind of on out of the game. Uh, checking yeah. in, though, is Cunningham. Maybe a little, a little bit better ball handler than what uh, Henry was as Henry takes a seat. Elston going to inbound this one as she gets it in to Erion as she gets it over to the hands of Cunningham now. Cunningham being guarded by Ball. She's going to drive this one, puts up the shot, fills it up and in. Who's this going to be on? And it's going to be against Hornbacher. That'll be her third, I believe. It's four. Wow, so that's uh, your best shooter out there. Ellie Hornbacher sit on her fourth ball with 3.27 left to go. Back of the iron, no good. Takes another little bounce off of the iron. Goes back in the hands of Ball. Nine-point game here. Ball with it just inside the three-point line. Root, no good. Trying to chase down the ball. We're going to get a fight for it. It's going to be a jump ball, possession arrow, to the favor of the Tigers. Good thing there, the uh, the possession arrow in favor of Carroll is... Uh, they need a, any help they can get right now. 
Inbound pass here. Murphy, she decides to hold the trigger on a three-point shot. Front of the iron, no good. Rebounded here by Hornbacher. Puts oh, up the man. shot, no good. Rebounded here. It's going to go off of Root. Going to go out of bounds, and it will stay, or excuse me, it's going to head back down the other way now here for the Lakers. So definitely not what you wanted to see. No, if you are what, a Tigers fan. Not what you wanted to see at all, but... Uh, as you could tell, I think Hornbacher was kind of looking for that foul. I yeah. put that shot up and just not there. Was not able to get it. 36-27. 3.06 left to go. Point that full court press on again. Lakers get it up to Elston. Nice job there by Elston. Nice spin move. She loses the handle on it, though. Got to battle down low. Cunningham takes a little bit of a root. Uh, <laughs> going for the, like, the ankle lock there. I don't know. She was doing a little bit of wrestling move there on Cunningham. Cunningham does go down. 36-27, 2.54 left to go in this fourth quarter play as it is going to be back down here for the Lakers. It'll be Root's first of the evening. Still a nine-point game. Inbound pass. Root staying right there with uh, Bowles, though, not, not backing up at all. She's been feisty all evening long as they get it over just inside the three-point line here for Irion. Cunningham with it now. It's to get it back over to Bowles, just milking that clock. We well, got to expect that they're not going to let up anytime soon. They're going to need that five second call if they're going to get anything. Jump, Jump ball. ball. It's going to stay down here for the Lakers. And yeah, bring guard tying up uh, Bowles there on the drive. Looks like she might have got popped in the mouth a little bit, but uh, ball staying down here for the Lakers. Elston going to inbound it. Inbound pass here by the Lakers. Gets it into Crone. Crone with it as she gets it back on over to Erion. Just get pass back over to Crone. 2.13 just eating up that clock. Down low is able to get a body on Erion, but she is going to get followed on the way up. So heading to the line now is going to be Emma Erion. Yeah, a little bit of uh, contact there to say the least, but... Uh, is going to be on Arian. Uh, Root, uh, Root going to take that foul. So inbound here, Greta Van Elston. <laughs> I love the van part in there. I, You know, it's become so natural that I just call her that now. I, as she's going to be, or excuse me, we're going to get timeout here by Dubes. 36-27, 209 left to go. Again, stick around as we have your post-game show brought to you by... Denny Miller, your local Farm Bureau Insurance agent, located in Vassar. Give him a call, 823-8493. Coming your way in just a little bit. And then we have your second part of the double header. Uh, we have, want to thank the Mary Psychological Services, CMR Tractors, Countryside Transport, Agri Valley Services. I want to thank uh, Bill Weitzel and Pigeon, Tim Fritz and uh, Bad Axe, your local Farm Bureau agent, McCormick Motors of Pigeon. Also want to thank uh, here, Stacks Market of Owendale. OptiCare Vision Center of Carroll and more motor sales of Carroll. I don't know how I got all these numbers in here. I don't, I don't know what I did. Weird. Nice pick and roll. Nice, nice left hand by Bowles. Bowles is able to get that one to go as it is now back to an 11 point game. 38 27, 152. Gonna be a charge. Yeah, seeing that coming. Too Just much frustration pushing. here. Too much pushing. By Carroll trying to. Trying to just push anything that they can get going. And it ends up with an offensive fall there. Going to be the Laker ball on the inbound. Going to inbound this one. On the baseline is going to be Kyle Bowles. And she gets the ball right back. Wide open here. Cunningham going to take this one. Arbello getting a hand in there. Going to knock that one out of bounds as it will stay down here for the Lakers. Nice job there by Arbello once again, though. And she's able to catch up to Cunningham. Guard that one. 38-27, 1.44 left to go. Lakers are going to come in here and steal two of two this season against the Tigers. Kind of their uh, kryptonite, which is funny because they're green. Yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, they uh, nice move. are able to oh. not able to get that go. Cunningham, Murphy comes up with the rebound, rips that one away. So an 11-point game here. Bringard going to just drive this one, flips that over to Ball. Ball just puts up the shot in front of the iron. No good. Root going to come up with it as it's tipped around. Bringard finally ends up with it. 116 left to go. Got to go, go, go here. Trying to set something up. Back over to Root to Ball. Ball going to drive this one. Puts up the shot. She's going to be followed on the way up. Why isn't Hornbacher in there? I have no idea. 
Now, here there she comes. comes. <laughs> I was wondering where she went. Nope, I guess she's not coming in yet. They're going to make him wait. First shot here by Ball. Back of the iron, no good. 38-27, just not Carroll's night tonight. That's uh, for sure. Not. They have not, uh, easy shots have not fallen for Carroll. Uh, definitely the hard shots have not fallen if the easy ones have not. Second shot by Ball, rattles around the rim and falls in. As Riley going to take that timeout. Can't take him with him, so might as well use him. Might as well, might, exactly. Might as well uh, use him on up. 107 left to go. We're going to take a 30 second time, timeout. We're going to come back. We've got more Game of the Week action here. It is Classic Rock on 92. Stick around. Are you looking for new furniture, flooring, appliances? The place to go in the thumb is Schneeburgers in downtown Cass City. At Schneeburgers, choose from hundreds of models on floor, in stock, right now, ready to go. So whether it's a Lazy Boy chair, sofa, or love seat, they've got it at Schneeburgers in downtown Cass City. Maybe you're looking for flooring. Well, Schneeburgers has that too. Everything from laminate, wood, tile, whatever it is you need. If you want to get it at the best price around, then you need to go to Schneeburgers in downtown Cass City today. <laughs> Welcome back to the Classic Rock I-92 High School Game of the Week. Let's get back to the action with Scott Bowlesby and Chris Wilcox. We are back with the action here in Classic Rock I-92. Ten-point game, 38-28, 107 left to go. Lakers on top of Carroll. As we're just talking about one if they had school because they haven't seen each other all week. The Tigers here. And maybe the Lakers saw each other today as we're going to get a quick fall here by Root. The one you definitely want to fall because she's only got one. Well, now two falls on the evening. What is this inbound pass? Can you explain that to me, Chris? Uh, it's just uh, you have free range because it's made basket, right? So you have free range. So all they're doing is just trying to trying to maybe get Caro off their game. So as they've done that twice now. They've, and done, I... it, they've done it twice. So you can step out of bounds and you can pass it okay. to somebody. And what they're trying to do is maybe get a girl going down the court. That is the third fall for Root. Uh, one and one, no good. Arbella going to drive this one for Caro. Nice drive. She's going to get the bucket and one. As Schmidt gonna, gonna be checking on in here for the Tigers. Gonna have to go quick. 38-30, 57 seconds left to go. Fourth quarter of play. Carroll looking to get something going here. As Hornbach are gonna be taking a seat, Hessling taking a seat, Bringard gonna be checking on in as well as uh, Mackenzie Schmidt, the sophomore. Well, you know the fouls are coming. Yeah, you know, that's <laughs> kind of getting those fresh uh, players in there without any falls, so they can get the falls to go. Lane violation, violation here by Arbello, so it will be no good on the shot. So still an eight-point game. You have to imagine they're going to put this full-court press on and fall right away as soon as they get this in. And watch out for Schmidt to uh, commit the fall if they can. Just like gonna that. Inbound this, not able to get it. Bring guard's going to go up. Ball just kind of get thrown up, and you got to fall. Holding back. They're... Really Whoa. letting him play, apparently. Puts up the shot. I'm not sure why you'd want her to do that. Nonetheless, Arbello quickly back down the other way. Eight-point game. She's going to back into her defender. Puts up the shot. Back of the iron. No good. Rebound here by Carroll. Fills it up and in. Just like that, we got a six-point ball game. And I don't know if your coach, Dubes, you wanted Brown to take that shot. No, he's actually going to be pulling, <laughs> pulling her out. You, you kind of want to kill that time right there. She pulls the trigger, and now... They shrink this down to six points, so Carroll's still alive here, Chris. Yeah. The, the the light at the end of the tunnel may be getting a little bit brighter for them. A six-point lead, 35 seconds left to go, and uh, we'll see if Carroll, what they can do here. And uh, I don't know. You know, is if they any tricks up their sleeve. Different ball game, right? I mean, you're shooting seven of 20 from the free throw line. Yeah. You want to talk about leaving points out there. Carol is? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. I mean, you hit, I mean, we're talking seven points, right? I mean, you're 14 and 20. Yep. Uh, big difference. Very, very big difference in the ball game. Looking to inbound this one, and they are going to get the inbound. Reagan Ball quickly going to fall here. Uh, Kyle Bowles. See what the Bowles is. Still a one and one. Still going to be a one and one. Yep. So that 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 does play in the favor of Carroll here. Carroll would have played like this all game long. It's like the it's like the two minute offense and in, in, in football. Players or teams play out of their mind there in the at the end of the uh, oh, yeah. first half or at the end of the fourth. You're like, man, if they played like this all game long, but <laughs> the urgency's not there. The urgency is here now. Is the Carroll looking 
to get back into this one. Free throw up, back of the iron, no good. As going to be rebounded here by Hornbacher, bringing this one down. She's going to drive it. Nice floater, fills it up. That's what that's what she's good at, though. That is what she's good at. Float those, those little floaters. Four right for the basket. Game. How Carol. many timeouts they got? Two two timeouts left. Yeah, two timeouts left. I don't know what they are. It looks like one's a. F oh no, he's taking it taking it down. So he's only got one timeout left after this. So it's a 38-34 ball game with 27.8 seconds left. It's going to be Laker ball to inbound and. Uh, you're right, you know, Shooty went out with uh, 12 points on the board and uh, said, hey, was it gonna be was it gonna be a big enough cushion? Well, we're about to find out here with 27 seconds left as uh, Carroll's just been chipping into that lead and uh, got themselves now within four points. So tune in now. If you're not listening, if you're tuning in now, welcome on in. Got a uh, heck of a first Ooh. game of the week here for you. 38-34, 26 seconds left to go. Carroll could not get over that five-point hump, but now with the uh, seconds left in this game, they're finally able to do so, and they're hoping it's not too little, too late. Well, if you're the person you want to the line, you want Elston to the line, right? Yeah. I mean, she's she's been the shooter from the floor. Bowles has been the last one to take the last two shots. You've seen that they changed it up. Instead of Elston, Elston inbounding it, and then, uh, or I'm sorry, instead of Bowles inbounding it, and then handing it off to Elston, and then Elston handing it, or inbounding it to Bowles, it, it was the opposite way around, but uh, here's Elston from the line. And back of the iron, no good as they sing happy birthday. <laughs> Carly Mark's birthday? Apparently. And the uh, band uh, helping out. <laughs> no good on both free throws. Crone coming up with it. We got a battle for the ball. Should be a jump ball. No jump ball. No jump wow. ball. Wow. I don't know about that one. Wow. And I'm not saying that uh, because we're in Caro's home gym, but I don't know. Caitlin Arbello looked like she had her hands all over that basketball. It should have been a jump ball and possession arrow <laughs> towards Caro. But, uh, Lillian with a little head poke around the basket just to look to check to see who it was. Nonetheless, Crone now at the line. No good. Stress getting to uh, the Lakers here as they're missing a lot of big free throws free down throw, the stretch. Exactly. Free throws down the stretch. Right now they're 3 of 11, actually 3 of 12. Second shot up here for Crone. No, no good. good. Rebounded here by the Tigers. Four-point game, 20 seconds left to go. Caitlin Arbella bringing this one down. Oh. Just a terrible idea right there. She's trying to get it inside. Stops and... Almost quarterback-like, trying to pull back on that and sling that down low. Arbello going to come up with her fifth, too. She'll be taking a seat. Jay Riley having a little discussion. She goes, that, that's on me, coach. I, I will take full blame. Yeah, I don't I don't know why she would want to try forcing that in there I don't like know that. either. I mean, yeah. she was locked and loaded. She was getting ready to let that thing just, she was. <laughs> just eat the wall, maybe. But uh, Ashley Murphy going to check on in here for Arbello. Not a bad... Uh, second choice to uh, send on in for Arbello as we know Murphy does have the range. She can shoot the ball. We'll see if they can get it going here. Four-point game. Cunningham, first after. Cunningham makes the first. There you go. End the bleeding. You can <laughs> if you watch Coach Dubes after that free throw, he kind of sighed and let a little bit of relief out just a little bit as the weight got a little bit uh, less heavy on his chest and is able to make that second one. Brings us back to a six-point game. 40 to 34. 17 seconds left. Cunningham says, come on, coach. You knew I could do it. Quickly up. They're going to bring this Reagan ball. 17 seconds left to go. Six point or five point game. Excuse me. Reagan, they got to do something with yeah, it here. 12 it. seconds left to go. Bringard with it. She's going to try to drive this. She is going to be called or they're going to call the tra or travel. The follow against the Lakers here. So still five point game. 39-34. 8.2 seconds left to go. Olivia Bringard at the line. And we know that Olivia has had free throw troubles this season. Do you have yeah. them at 40 to 34? Uh, yeah, I do. I don't know why. It's a good question. Why do I have? I don't know. I, I, that would be right because they sank the last two free throws. That's what I thought too. Yeah. Should be back to a six-point game. Yeah, it's a six-point game. I'm right. Bring See that? that one up. See that? I'm right. They might want to fix the s score though. Just to... I, We'll see if anybody else 
notices it or says anything. Bringard second free throw up and no good. Rebounded here by the Lakers. And Murphy gets a hand in there. Almost that's, putting out the inevitable right now. Yeah, that's yeah, that's ball game. That's gonna be well, will be the ball game. Emma Erion heading to the to the free throw line. Hey, big shout out here. To me. To you. Yeah. What'd you do? I uh, nothing. I'm just kidding. You're snow coming queen <laughs> over in Brown City. Drum roll. It's Kendall Monkslow. Oh. <laughs> Jeez. I thought there was more. I thought there was more build up. It, it was just like quick. Your possible player of the year. How's that better? First free throw, no good here by the Lakers. It is Erion. For uh, your future possible player of the year, Kendall Monks, was that better? There you go. Here on second shot. No good. Rebounded here by the Tigers. Just shoot it. Murphy throws up the shot. No good. That's going to be your ball game. 39-35. We have 40-35, so we'll see if that does change. Yeah. I believe it is, but uh, nonetheless, that is going to be your final as the Lakers come in here, and they're able to steal two away from the Tigers this season. Much to the dismay of the uh, coach, Jay Riley. So we'll take a couple minutes. We'll come back. We've got more Game of the Week action for you. It is Classic Rock, I-92. Stay right there.